So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a vocal chain using a free plugin and a free preset designed by me. Crab Tendo. What is going on guys? So it's been a minute, I know, since I did a free download Friday, so I did a free preset and I will have instructions on how to load presets into plugins by Waves Audio. It will be at the top right of the screen right now and hopefully it will help you out as well if you do have any trouble loading it up. But Studio Rack is a free plugin by Ways that helps organize Ways plugins in every DAW. I know if you're not in like Logic or Pro Tools, it's a little difficult for you to find every one of your Ways plugins, especially if you're in Ableton Live and also in FL Studio. So this will be a helpful tool for any of you guys that do record audio into FL Studio. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to use it and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So when you click on the link in the description box for the free plugin, it will take you to Waves Audio's official website. And all you have to do is go over here to downloads and then go to free downloads. And once you click on that, it will take you over here and you'll see Studio Rack. And all you have to do is click on get free and you'll be able to get the plugin for free. Uh, what I'm going to do is solo the hook group so that you can hear just the hook group itself and then I'll play it with and without it. So I'm gonna play it with it. If I can't make love to you, I'ma make love to this money. If you can't get money, I can't fuck you. I'ma make love to the money. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it without the vocal chain on. If I can't make love to you, I'ma make love to this money. Yeah. If you can't get money, if I can't fuck you. You can hear all kinds of stuff. And, and this was recorded in a professional studio. Right now, I'm actually using this particular vocal chain on my vocals as I talk right now. But uh, let's go ahead and play it with it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna A and B it so that you can hear it with it and without it. So let me go ahead to this screen so you can see the proof in the pudding. If I can't make love to you. It's all right now. I'm gonna make love to this money. It's obviously off. If you can't get money. If I can't fuck you. I'm gonna make love to the money. So in the previous video, again, with the Lou Diaz video, when I was talking about setting up vocal chains and, you know, mixing vocals, uh, I brief, I talked about all of the plugins and reason why I chose them. And one of the main reasons why I chose these plugins was because of Lou Diaz. And, you know, he just wanted to give me a vocal chain advice. So, uh, the first one, obviously, is pitch correction, which is wave tune real time. And the reason why I like using this over the other guys is because of this right here, these notes. So if I was to play this and mess with these notes. I if I can't make love to you, I'm going to make love to this money. I can use these notes right here where the arrows are at and point in the direction where I want the vocals to go in terms of the pitch correction so that is one of the main reasons why as well as it being very cpu efficient and very easy to use i mean it's pretty much the same premise as you would use uh the other guys so but anyways uh, other than that our vox i mean there's no explanation needed i mean very simple tool for getting the vocals as loud as you want as well as you know compression and gating if you don't have any gating on your vocals or whatnot this is how they will sound like if I can't make love to you can hear the bleeding of the headphones and it's that performance is kind of lost and that compressor in general a reason why a lot of engineers love using the Arvos beyond its simplicity is the energy that the compression gives it and that it evens out those vocals that might be lower because regardless of the actual artist I know a lot of people might like to use like the C6 or, or whatnot, but this is the successor to the C6 and it's the F6, obviously. And, and unlike the other video, I actually did engage the high pass filter. So, you know, if I turned it off, you can hear the nastiness of those vocals. If I can't make love to you, I'm gonna make love to 
so you can see how smooth it is now. And the reason why I use a high pass filter is just to cut off that unwanted lower end that could overlap with other frequencies that need that space. So, you know, I just want my vocals to be in one area and, you know, boosting it is all about personal preference as well. But I do like to cut those frequencies off because when you listen on something like a PA system, you can start hearing uh, extra puh, puh, like that. And I did do that example in the in the Lou Diaz video. But anyway, so I'm not going to talk so much about the plugins as I am going to show you the plugins that I have in this chain. Uh, I also use this triple D here. Thanks to shout out to Lou Diaz on that. And it's really good to follow up as far as your dynamic EQ. And I will do a video about dynamic EQs as well. Let me go back over here to the F6. So, I mean, a dynamic EQ is really strong because it also covers compression and EQing at the same time, which is very effective. What I have in that slide is Simulus itself, and I think it's really good because I like organic resynthesis, uh, well, in its change of the regular de -esser. but, you know, the regular de can suffice there as well. But, you know, I think the, the Manny Triple D is very important for this uh, if you want those really smooth prestige vocals as well as the API 550B. You could sub out the F6 for something like maybe I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you the organization of this. See, so you have your all your dynamics in one category. You have all your EQs in one category. I mean, I could go and just grab this E channel and, you know, I could just easily just uh, just get rid of those lower frequencies in here. But I just find it very efficient uh, to use the F6 in regards to that. You know, I just really like the F6 in that area in that slot in particular because it's just very simple to use uh, the api is just really good at sweetening like this is the sweetening eq of choice for me reverb i really do like the manny reverb just because uh, it's just really simple and sweet and also is very efficient for it, this the simpleness of it if i can't make love to you I'm going to make love to this money. And that's a strong presence. I usually go between hall and room and just choose small and just roll the amount down to here. And obviously the S1 imager, you know, it, it depends on what you're trying to cut and, you know, what you're trying to do with your vocals. But I do find that the S1 imager comes in a clutch as far as stereo widening. And i just show you without it right now. If I can't make love to you. I'm going to make love to this money. If you can't get money, if I can't fuck you. It just brings the presence that I need. I, and again, I am using the Studio Rack stereo version because my vocals are in mono anyways. And, you know, if you do try to add a stereo imager to the Studio Rack, the mono version of the Studio Rack, you won't have access to the S1 imager. So, you know, you want to keep that in mind when you do that as well. So let me know if this video was helpful to you because I'm really trying to help everybody out as much as possible with understanding how to set up vocal chains and, and how to get the best out of your mix because it is a, quite a difficult thing to understand if you are a newcomer as well as a helpful tool for anybody that's intermediate as well because I know people like preset templates and all that and I just wanted to provide one for free and you can just remix it any way that you want. I know every engineer does something different and I want to reiterate that because every engineer is different and hears things different so it's not everybody's vocal chain is not going to be the same i know my vocal chain isn't the same as lou diaz as well as it's not the same as leslie breastweight but we all kind of use the same techniques to get the exact same results so just let me know how you feel in the comment section i appreciate y'all for your time look at you twerk look at you work look at you work look at you twerk look at you work I made it work. Work, work I make it work. Oh, I make it work. Works. I make it twerk. Look at she twerk. Look at she work.